Hi everybody and welcome back to number two of our Christmas card series videos. If you missed the first video, you'll find a link to that at the end of this video and also down below. Um, we're going to start off with some Cherry Cobbler cardstock and some Whisper White cardstock. The Cherry Cobbler is cut to three by four and three quarter and the Whisper White is two and seven eighths by four and three quarter. And what I'm doing is just taking my pencil and marking the center point on each of these pieces of cardstock. So I did the cherry cobbler and marked it at, um, since it was three inches, I marked it at one and a half inches. And then I just took my two and seven eighths, kind of centered that on my cherry cobbler and marked the center of that. And what I'm doing now is just taking my scissors and I cut a little slit in the center and then I'm cutting from the corner to the center part of that slit. And that's what makes my banner edge. I've seen uh, every, um, other ways of doing this using a square punch or you can even use a square die if you have that. But I found it easier just to go ahead and mark the center and do my little slit and then go from the corner to the center um, part where I did the slit to create my banner edge. So I'm just cutting down my Whisper White piece here, doing my little banner piece. I'm going to measure that um, up against my Cherry Cobbler since I'm using the Cherry Cobbler as my mat piece. And I can see here that it was a little bit off. The banners didn't quite match up. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a little trimming of that. I'm just going to make another little small slit on my banner piece here and then even it out a little bit by going from the corner or from the center to the corner and then doing the other side by going from the corner back up to the center and that lined it up much better this time. So once I have that lined up I'm just going to take my powder bag. This is uh, used for embossing. It's great for getting the static and the um, oils from your fingers that you might have transferred onto your cardstock off. I'm using some Versamagic or Versamark um, ink and inking up my sentiment which comes from the Wishing You stamp set. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that right down towards the bottom of that piece of cardstock. And then once I have that um, stamped out I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper and use some the Cherry Cobbler embossing powder and sprinkle that right over to the, the top of my Versamark. And once I have the excess knocked off, I'm going to go ahead and take my heat tool and heat set this. And then once I have that embossed, I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive to the back of the um, Whisper White cardstock. And I'm just using my snail adhesive. And once I have that done, I'm going to center that right onto that piece of cherry cobbler that I cut out. And that's the one that measures three inches by four and three quarter. So I'm center centering that right onto that banner edge. And once I have that down, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to my card base or start putting my card base together. For my card base, I'm using a piece of Whisper Right cardstock, which is four and a quarter by five and a half, which is a standard A2 size card. Adding some designer series paper from the Seasons of um, Style paper pack, which is in the holiday catalog, and I cut that down to four inches by five and a quarter, which makes a nice mat for the front of my card base. Added some adhesive to the back, and I'm just adhering that down to the center of my card base. The next thing I'm going to do is add some crumb cake seam binding. I really love the seam binding, Stampin' Up! seam binding, and that it's dyed to match the coordinate with the different papers and stuff. But I really like the cherry cobbler and the um, crumb cake together. So what I'm doing is taking the seam binding and tying a bow around that banner edge. Uh, getting a little bit better with ba but making bows. It takes a lot of practice and um, a lot of fidgeting and playing with them, but I think I'm getting a little bit better. Um, anyway, what I'm doing is just wrapping that seam binding around and tying my bow right onto the front of my card. And I kind of kept it a little loose as I was tying so that I could fidget with it and then um, tie it up. So what I'm doing is cutting off the edges to the tails and then just sliding that seam binding over so my bow was off to the side a little bit. Adding some adhesive to the back of the cherry cobbler and then I will then um, adhere that right to my card base. So I'm adding a lot onto here and making sure I go over my seam binding so I know that it adheres down to my card base and stays in place. And then what I'll do is line this up onto the center of my card coming down from the top. And I did kind of 
um, go off the edge a little bit just so I knew that the cherry cobbler and whisper white were all um, lined up to the very top of the card and then I'll just take my scissors and cut the edge off so that's my card for today I hope you enjoyed card number two for our Christmas card series and here are a few pictures of my finished card as always a list of supplies will be in the descri description of this video or over on my blog Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And if you missed the last card in the Christmas card series, you could just click where it says click here to watch, and I'll take you over to that video.